Well, it's about 9 a.m. and they're at it non-stop. See when I, I just turned it on, but it's been going on since before 8. Here's one making a big U-turn. I'm looking southerly, so he's gone and made a U-turn towards the north, but he's actually peeling off in a slightly westerly direction now. Let's say it's 10.30ish. Check this out. <laughs> How do I show this? All right, trail goes out there, rotates around this way, rotates around here, and it's that guy, he spun this big thing. So he came out of the south, rotated around, made this big fancy. <laughs> hey, there's another one. Are they waving at each other? Quite a sight. I've never seen one like this. Hey, this guy's peeling off again. Now he's heading off towards the east. So this band here is part of his event. This is part of his event. I have to assume this one back here, it has the same curvature to it. See out here? There's that fellow. That might be a real contrail. Where's Busy Boy? Here, Busy Boy. Look at him! What a, what an act. So all of this is one guy. Oh. And now he's heading south again. I wish my lens wasn't so messed up. I gotta go into the bank, see what happens when I come back out. Well, I'm not going in the bank yet. Schmozo's making another turn. And here comes one out of the south here. See that? Coming up. All right, he's cutting arcs. He's making big loops. Here he comes. I'm going to watch these dissipate. Uh, it's probably been about five minutes. I still haven't gone into the bank. Oh, there's that fellow laying down the new one. Might not be able to see that, but he's out there. Right in this area here. Yeah, it's roughly 10.30, so I've come back outside from the bank and he's making another loop. So he's using the sun, right? Well, I'm saying he's using the sun, but that's the newest loop. Oops, sorry. And there he's coming back out for another one. So you can see how these blow off uh, to the east, slightly south. It's quite an event. I hope you can see all five of those curved bands. The newest one, then two, three, four. Yeah, I see five of them. But aside from this guy, they stopped spraying this morning. They started around 8-ish. And now we're like this. And you can see a new one coming up. Well, that fellow seems to be heading straight out north now. This is Prather. See over there? There's the Mormon gas station. And then right up out of view here is the Hindu gas station. So I'm going to watch these two beat each other up. They are little sky Nazis heading north now. There they are together. Now look, and that guy's turning. Can you see him turning out there? I'm going to North Fork. So we're in Prather. We're going to North Fork. Maybe we'll meet him up there. But he's turning too far off, it looks like. North Fork's about 17 miles from here. All right, it's literally a couple minutes later, and hopefully you can see him. He's a thin line out there. He's turned again, okay? He's out here, and he was back this way. That's where you first saw him. So he's turning again, and now he's heading easterly. Here's what these patterns look like now that they're dissipating a little bit, and they move off generally to the east. There's a very slight southern motion. I'm up in Aubury now. I'm gonna lose him. He's heading in a southeasterly direction. You might see those antennas sticking up on top of that mountain there. That's the Meadow Lakes area. So I'm gonna lose him. All right, the sky terrorism seems to have slowed down. It's probably getting close to 11. That's the San Joaquin. Hold on. If you look real hard, you can see the San Joaquin River down there. There's actually a 
It's either the bridge or a dam. That's Dragon Rock. Just over that snowy mountain there is Yosemite. And right there, somewhere, is a fresh, looks like normal contrail. That's around one. They seem to have uh, desisted. It's blue skies with a haze in it, but bluish.